Damn right, you're fucking quiet.
that should get me down the block. Back, so I just feel like I can find a slot for me. Ah, that sucks, dude. Now, at least they didn't fire my ass. Yeah. I'm Matt, by the way, man. Justin, good to meet you. Hey, you ever go up to Gales Creek Tavern? No, never been. Ah, dude, you gotta come, man. You know, my buddies are there like <laughs> about every night, man. Thanks. Well, I better get back to work. It's a uh, nice meeting you, dude. Yeah. I should get back to. Sorry I wasn't there in class today. Yeah, I did. I did the essay. No, I don't know if it's any good, but I, it's written. Yeah, no, I'll be there on Monday for class. Now, tomorrow's payday, so I'll be there, okay? Oh, okay. Friday morning? Yeah. No, I can do that. That's 200 units of Douglas fir and 30 cedar for May. Yep, sounds good. Thanks. We'll let you know next week. Don't have too much fun with that snow down there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's not much. Trying to get you in more, but sales are down again this quarter. How's that leg of yours doing? It's good as long as I got my meds. I was in therapy on Monday. They say I'm making really good progress. Still can't put much stress on it, though. You doing okay? Sleeping? No, a couple nights a week still. Wish I could say I'd go away soon. I still have my nights, and that was 30 years ago. I know I'm your boss. If you ever need to talk or have a warm dinner, you let me know. Thank you, sir. More than anything, I really just like to work. I'll do what I can for you. Thank you. Really appreciate it.
So assuming we all did our reading, let's see how much we retained. How are the profit motives of business served by good ethics? Jenny? Good ethics result in good business. That's the standard motto, but in the short term, bad ethics can be profitable too. So in seeking a profit motive, how do good ethics become beneficial? Why? It keeps them out of trouble. Well, it can be good PR to be ethical, but it's not against the law in many cases to be unethical. The law merely specifies the lowest common denominator of acceptable behavior. How would bad ethics affect the bottom line? Customers won't buy a product that are harmful them or bad for their health. Good. That is one reason why ethics are good for the profit motive. But selling risky products like high interest loans, credit cards is still profitable, even though it's often bad for the consumer. So if a customer is so willing to buy these dangerous products, What's the motive to be ethical? Justin. Well, they keep swindling everyone. Our consumer-based economy will have no consumers left with money to spend. That's another good point, but that addresses the long-term profit motive. How do you see ethics being beneficial in the short term? I don't. I was unethical business hurt Wall Street. Well, it's true a lot of banks have profited a lot. But it's also true that a lot of banks have gone under and are continuing to do so. Yeah? How does that hurt their personal profits? Well, that's another topic we'll be addressing later. Business ethics and human values. Right now, we're just focusing on ethics and the profit motive. So, you don't see ethics being beneficial in the short term? Ethics are for little people. I mean, if it's just about this quarter's profits, then the only role they play is a burden. Well, let's try and find some reasons anyway, shall we? Okay, so just remember to read the rest of that chapter and then answer the concept questions in the back, okay? Yeah. So how's everything else going? I don't know. I went for a hike over the weekend. My leg was sore as hell when I got home, but it felt good to do it. I know I should have been going over my schoolwork. Or... No, that's great. I'm happy you were able to do that. Yeah, it was like a little taste of freedom again. Well, you need that, you know? You get caught up here, but I don't want you to burn out either. I don't know. I don't think I really got the mind for it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You stumped teacher today with your anti-morals spiel. I'm not anti-morals. I just don't think they mean a damn thing to the people running things. Well, don't tell anyone, but I agree with you. I can't teach that, though. I just hope this new generation sees a bigger picture like you do. I hope they can understand that their actions affect others. That's why I know you have a mind for this stuff. It's just this stuff, you know, these fancy words and big theories. No, don't play that shit. Acting like you ain't smart. You ain't some dumb old grunt like me, little lady. Well, grunt boy, you too will be one of us hoity-toity types if I have my way with you. What makes you think I want to be one of you hoity-toity types? Well, I don't blame you. Neither do I. That's why I'm a teacher. I'm just kidding. Hell, I don't even know what I want to be. Oh, little secret for you, uh, most of us don't. The important thing is to know who you don't want to be. Well, I should get going. Got the early shift tomorrow. Thank you so much for taking all this time to help. That's my job. I promise I'll be here on Thursday with my papers finished. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, the least you can do is walk me to my car. Am I your bodyguard now? Yeah.
you going to the bar tonight? You gonna come out? Nah, I can't. I gotta study. I gotta test on Thursday. Ah, good luck, man. I'll have a beer for you then. Have a few. I'll need them. Alright, get you later, man. Yeah. Justin. Yeah. I got that cash you dropped, but where's the rest? So I'm still short. Yeah, well, I need it by the end of the month, or I got people who are ready to move in. I can't keep playing this game. Here, hey, here's 50 bucks. I got the rest of you next week. End of the month's in a week. Hey Pete, this is my boy Justin. How you gonna meet? I'll see, man. Game's getting good. Get a beer? Hey, it's on me. Man, no problem, man. So you're uh, done studying or whatever to take it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, man. Fuck school. That's what life's all about. Yeah. Fuck school. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Love them, <man>, right? <laughs> but cheers. To Studying hard and well, becoming somebody. Thank you, man. Cheers. Cheers. So, Justin, where are you from? I grew up in Jersey. Cool. Follow basketball much? Nah, I don't really follow much. Ah, uh, dude, we fucking lived it, man. Yeah, did. High school, I was point guard. I was the forward. Put up more bricks than a mason worker. That's cool. So, brings you down here then. It's a long story. Basically for work. All right, cool. Man, you should have followed an input step and not played. <laughs> then you some good. <laughs> Want to see me, sir? Yeah, John called in sick. I wonder if you could work for him tomorrow. Yeah, sure, thank you. Good. 
Yeah, I've got some not so good news. I just talked with the big boys. I'm going to have to start making some cuts starting next month. Nah, I'm not going to lay you off. I just don't know how much work there'll be. I've got to figure things out. I just wanted to give you a heads up so you could do what you need to do. Thank you, sir. Don't go spreading that around. I don't want the others to know until I've had a chance to sort it out. I won't say anything. Sorry, son. Times are just tough around here. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Why have you been cutting class? Oh, no, nothing. I'm just having trouble with the VA. No big deal. Well, what about your disability pay? Oh, it hasn't been approved yet. It's been almost a year, and they still haven't paid your disability? I still haven't paid my tuition yet either. How are you getting by? It's tight. You know, I have to walk to and from work. I skimp on some things. I try not to dwell on it. I mean, there's guys who are a lot worse than I do. Ah, sorry it took so long. No, this is great. I could talk to you all night. Yeah, it's been good talking. Do you want to join me for dinner? We could go to that little diner on Knott Street. Come on. Teacher is new to Hicktown, too, and you're like the only guy who's been past the county line since birth. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have the Middle East as my first travel destination, but I guess it still counts. <laughs> well, it's more interesting than here. Dinner? Sure. <laughs> I was only married to the guy for a month, but he was completely useless. I should have seen him trying to take out the garbage. <laughs> I told you, it was completely stupid. No, that's stupid, dumb. And the difference? The difference? You marrying some fat, greasy douche 20 years older than you that you met backpacking in Greece? That's dumb, that's you. I was serving him as two wars and believing the sales pitch of a better life waiting for me when I got out, and then thinking the government, who I took a bullet for, would give a shit? That's stupid. That wasn't stupid. Idealistic, naive, yeah, maybe. Brave, noble. Definitely. Brave, noble bullshit. I joined up because I didn't see another option. I come from shit. I thought I could just crawl out of that shit. You know, climb the ladder. What is noble, Justin? Huh? Is what I do noble? <laughs> is anyone here doing anything that means a thing? <laughs> I mean, are the assholes that sent you and thousands of people like you to fight and die brave and noble? Leave it up to our base human instincts and nobody would do anything that means anything. You were there. You know, you did what most of us don't do, think about, and you did it all expecting nothing more than a little thanks in the form of a hand up. That is noble. Now, when you well, put it that way. You know it. Come on, it's on me. No, I can't do it. Uh, you know what? Shut the fuck up. You're done talking until you accept what I told you. I recommend you not sneaking up on me. Just take me home. Yes, Miss Teacher.
Hi, I'm calling about the job you have listed in the paper. Yeah, the job open. Okay. 11 a.m.? Yeah, I could do that. Hey Justin, my name's Becky. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Good. Thank okay. You. So, just some basic questions. Um, do you have a food handler's card? No. Okay. And um, that you need to get one of those before you can work here. It's very simple. You can go online, get them. It's just a few dollars. Um, in transportation, you have transportation. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, good. That's important. And um, black slacks. Do you have black slacks or no, black pants? No, Okay, those you need to have before you could start working here too. So, um, what do you think qualifies you to? work at this establishment? Well, I just got out of the Marines. Well, um, but I don't see how five tours of duty are going to help me in here. Well, you never know. It's kind of a battlefield in here at times, especially during the summer. Um, it's a, you know, right now we are doing some hiring for spring and summer, so um, we do have a lot of other applications that we're looking at. Yeah, so apparently I'm not the right fit for a fast-paced career at Dairy Freeze. Yeah, I don't give two shits about it, I could just use the extra cash, that's all. No. That is not the uniform women find sexy. No, I picked up a few applications on the way home. Oh, by the way, I got your note. No excuses now, huh? No, it no, was really nice of you. But you don't have to be giving me money. Now, you teachers don't make enough money anyway to be giving it away. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, I'll be fine. No, it's good to walk. It builds up strength in my gimp leg. Shut the fuck up! Fuck up!
not in the decrease of one's possessions, but in the increase of one's greed. So let's talk about how this relates to the subprime mortgage crisis. We have a couple of groups. We have the FNMA. this band around for six months. <laughs> My friend Danielle, she could get backstage to any show. Oh, life must have been tough for three hot chicks on the down. It had its perks, but I don't miss it though. My party days are long gone. Sounds like it was a blast. Yeah, it was. But, you know, it was also fake. Pretending to be hot shit, when in reality, just a couple of young brats looking for attention. Selling your wild oats. <laughs> Consider mine some. Let me see. You were a groupie. You're still married in Greece. You're a published writer. And now a professor. Don't forget, I'm sharing a day in the park with the most amazing guy I've ever met. Come on, you fucked rock stars. No, I fucked C-list rock stars. <laughs> You're a great guy, Justin. I wouldn't be here freezing my ass off if you weren't. I should let this great guy take you home. Tell me about the girl you almost married. Oh, you don't want to hear that shit? Yeah, I do. I told you about my crazy past. You can tell me about yours. It's not much to tell. She got tired of me. She got tired of you? Well, you were engaged to an idiot. Of course. Who would marry me? Asshole. Okay. Fine. Don't tell me. You wicked woman. You gonna make me feel bad? No, I'm just gonna pout. It's up to you whether you want to feel bad or not. Okay, fine. We were engaged and planned on marrying when I got out. Right before my last rotation, I had two weeks off. She told me she couldn't take it. I wasn't the guy she loved anymore. That was it. So she gave me back the ring and I went back to war. I'm sorry. No, she was right. I wasn't the same guy. I never was much, but at least I was happy. It wasn't a wreck. You'll get there again. And you've got me. I'm not going anywhere. This morning, I got an email from my buddy. Two of my guys died yesterday. There's an ambush in the middle of the night. Around three in the afternoon, our time. Same time I was interviewing for a job at fucking Dairy Freeze, my guys died. I wasn't there to protect them because I'm here. Do what? What the fuck am I doing here? 
I'll never be that guy again. Sorry. John, I'll let Paul know that you call. Okay, great. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Justin. Hey, Maggie. Uh, just seeing if you have my check. You didn't get it yesterday? No, uh, I haven't had a ship in a few days. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Me too. See you Monday. Okay. Did you just get here? Yeah, he's got it. Nice. You good? You're on. <laughs> hey, you need a shot. You need a shot. Bartender, bartender, can I get a couple shots of whiskey? <laughs> yeah. Let's do you good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Cheers. Down there. Down there. Hey. Let's play some darts. I'm gonna get a nice drill while I'm doing camping. I'll show you how to show you how to catch the fish. Hey, pretty boy. Hey. Hey. Let's the cat drug in. Justin, right? Nice to meet you. Alrighty. Uh, you ever play? Any good? I've played before. Alright, uh, some cricket. Good. Tired of beating this guy. Alright. New guy. Ghosters. Who's your the next round? Craig. Who's the next contestant on Buy a Beer? Oh! Shit! Uh oh, pretty. Looks like we got ourselves a ringer. You owe me a beer. <laughs> Alright. I'll take the challenge. Alrighty. Get ready for this good stuff, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, he's actually hit something for once. No, not that time. He's not you want to buy me a beer and end the game now? Are you going to play loose still? I'm just getting warmed up, man. Let's do this. He's got to take a lot of warming up. Okay, he's so mad. What do you got? I got nothing. I got this guy. I got nothing. Come on. Let's go. Uh oh. Better look next time, right? Uh, well, at least bad for you. Bad. You got an 18. Consistently bad. That's all right. Not very bad for you. A bad bread. All right. Here you go. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. Nice to meet you. The victory. And the beaten pizza ass. Beaten pizza ass. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If you have lessons, you might want some. How'd you get so good, man? I had a lot of downtime in the service. You were a soldier? Marine. Oh, dude, you never told me that. Yeah. Dude, dude. GI fucking Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, we need a toast. We need cheers for him. Everybody, he's a true American hero. Got back fighting for our country. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Nice. I'm not here. Ah, dude. Justin. Yeah, Justin. <laughs> you gotta tell me. How many of them shit stains kill over there? I don't know a lot to my job. A lot? What do you mean a lot? How many? A lot. 
So what's it like over there, I man? Is it crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. People died. It's like I just came home with a bad leg. What happened? You get with like a grenade or something? Bullet. Any more fucking questions? No, oh, man. Sorry. Fuck you too. Oh fuck! Oh. Fuck you. Michael McMillan strolls in 20 minutes late and spends the entire rest of the class on his cell phone. I swear, these kids don't pay attention to a damn thing unless it's a text message. I'm just gonna start giving Fs to anyone I catch fucking around with their cell phone in class. I mean, what makes these apathetic brats I think anything they do is so amazingly important that they must text back and forth about it all day? I mean, whatever happened to internal thoughts and self-reflection and letting your mind wander? That is why you are so great. Hey. You okay, baby? Yeah, I'm just having one of my days, that's all. Well, after this hopefully edible dinner that I'm screwing up, I've got a dessert to make you forget about all that stuff. We'll get back in that kitchen, won't we? <laughs> Play nice. So, um, I've been thinking about how much I love having you here and spending time with you and just how safe I feel when you're here and I want you to move in with me. Live with you? Yeah. Plus it'd be easier if we would have each other. Thank you. It really means a lot to me to know you're here for me. You're willing to take me in. I wouldn't just take you in. I want you here. You've got to stop seeing yourself that way. Get that through your thick head. You love my thick head. I do. I love them both, even though this one is a pain. I got a lot of crap to deal with. Let me think about it. Okay. Okay. Let me get back to dinner before I burn it. Stupid head is just filled with so much crap tonight. You're not stupid, baby. You're gonna get through this no matter what you've got me. Why? What do you want with a fuck up like me? I want everything about you. You don't know everything about me. What I've done? Trust me, you don't How want How do you know what I want? You think you're gonna scare me off? Yeah, actually I do. No, well I'm not as fragile as you think. You don't know me. You're gonna hurt me? I 
I love you, Justin. You're just gonna leave, that's it?
Come in. Hi there. Hi, excuse me, sir. I'm here about the stockroom position. Come on in. Appreciate the time. Okay. We'll let you know next week. Thank you, sir. Good day. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Doing okay? I'm sorry I haven't been there. Yeah, you could have given me a heads up. Heck, need more work for the other guys. Made my job easier with the cutbacks. You find work or something? No, I'm still looking. My offer still stands, you know. Struggle ain't gonna be easy. It helps to talk. You can't just run away from it. Thank you, sir, but I'm good, though. Yeah, sure you are. If you ever want a warm meal or something, let me know. You dropped me off up there. You sure? Yeah, I'm good here. Justin, I've got some side jobs I could use you on. Not at the mill, just at the house. It's not a lot, but it is something. Come on, you owe me. Besides, you're a good worker. You show up. Sure. You remember where I live, right? Yeah. Show up at 7.30 before I go to work. I'll get you started. Thank you, sir. Stay warm.
Morning, sir. Where's your truck? You walk? Yeah, it's a good stroll. How far? Must be five to six miles. I have nothing else to fill my time with. Well, why don't you sit down and rest your leg a while? I gotta get off to work. There's coffee in the kitchen. Uh, call me if you need anything. I'll be back just after five. Thank you, sir. You bet. Don't have too much fun. Dear Lord, we are grateful for this day and uh, for all we've been able to accomplish. We are grateful for the food and thank you that Justin was able to join us today and help. And, and we are grateful for all thy uh, many blessings. Amen. So Paul says you're over there in Iraq. Yeah, I was in Iraq for three deployments in Afghanistan for another two. Wow. You know, we pray for you boys so much over there. And we're so proud of what you were doing. Yeah, we salute you men and women for all you've been able to accomplish over there. Thanks. Cindy, our daughter, she's about your age, maybe a little bit younger. Her high school organized some care baskets a few years ago for the soldiers. She wrote these cards and sent socks and things like that. So has our church. Every year there's a Christmas drive. Oh yeah? It's really nice. Mm -hmm. We always appreciate a little gift from back home. You know, we wanted you to know that we're rooting for you to do our little part in the effort. Thank you. Sorry, it's uh, a little cluttered. Uh, thanks. It's great. Appreciate you coming out today. Uh, you did a good job. Thank you, sir. Sleep tight.
Hello? Justin? I'm sorry. Where are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just out of town now. Just get my act together. So glad you called. I just wanted to hear you were okay. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have been more understanding. No. And, uh... Don't apologize. You're perfect. I fucked up. But I'm gonna fix it. Sorry I'm such a mess. Can I see you? I will go wherever. I just want to see you. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm here. Just need more time. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I miss you, Justin. I miss you too. I'll call you, okay? You too. Hello, I'm calling to see if you made a decision on the job. Decision? Yeah, the stock room. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your consideration. Hey, if another job opens up, um, keep me in mind. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Bye. Hey, yeah, I'm calling about the job. All right, this is a temp agency. Yeah. Oh, I just come out and fill a form? I can come tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Hello, Morris family. Justin, just want to thank you for your kindness the other night. And if you still need some stuff uh, fixed that I can get to, I have some time this week, and I'd love to come and finish the job. Thanks. Bye.
Yeah, I'm calling to find out what's going on with my disability rating. Justin Williams. Yeah, it's one one five six four five seven zero nine. Sure, I'll hold. Justin, I'm Cheryl with Direct Labor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, ma'am. I was looking through your application, and it looks like you did five tours with the Marine Corps. That's correct, ma'am. I thank you for your service. That's wonderful. I really appreciate that. Um, it looks like you have a lot of physical um, job ability in your background. Now, let's talk about any limitations that you might have. Currently, are you able to stand on a shift eight hours? Um, four hours, ma'am. The doctor said four hours. Four hours. With a break at that point? For two hours. Another two hours. And then another two. Okay, and how about lifting? Is it 40 pounds or more or less? I say 35 pounds right now, ma'am. 35 pounds. But I'm improving daily. I, I think I can be getting getting the weight up and, and the hours on my on my leg, on my feet good. Okay, we would need the doctor to give a note that says that you can't. So we would need that, a doctor's note. Um, as you know, or I'm sure you're aware, there are a lot of people looking for work and not a lot of work. And I'll tell you, it, it, it is going to be a little difficult to find you a quick job here because of the industry being slow and your current limitations together are going to be a little more difficult but I am going to do my best to see what I can do to get you going. Okay, thank you ma'am. Okay, and I thank you for coming in today Justin and it was very nice to meet you. Thank you. You have a wonderful day and good luck to you. You too. Got that room all set up for you if you want to stay for a while to get back on your feet. I appreciate it, sir. But it's actually better for me out there. It's cold out there. It's a lot better in the winter in Afghanistan. You can't stay out there forever. That's crazy. No, of course not. But I'm the deer with loud neighbors and a landlord breathing down my neck. You can't expect an employer to seriously consider you. If you're meeting him, and you can't present yourself well. I can walk in wearing a designer suit and a $100 haircut, and it wouldn't matter. With my injury and background, I'd still get turned down. You guys mean well, but you don't get it. Who's gonna hire a cripple who's only work experience is shooting people? Justin! You know, I plan on working in one of those private security forces or the police, but I can't even get a job as a security guard now. You know, maybe in a few years if my leg improves, but there's no guarantee. Okay. Just try to help. I appreciate your help, but it doesn't change much out there. I gotta go. Thank you for your charity. I'll drive it. Oh, bye.
Calm down. What the fuck are you doing here? I just came to pay you for helping me the other day. Huh. Take yourself at home. Sorry I can't offer you dinner. What's your problem? You bought people up to ask me that. You don't see me lashing out. Running away from everything, do you? What do you really want from me? Are you project? Your way of making me feel like you're still important? I thought you were a good kid. Figured I'd help you out. I already thanked you. Now, what more do you want? Or you think an extra 50 bucks is gonna make a difference? Battlefield ain't the only place you can save lives. Battlefield isn't the only place a soldier becomes a casualty either.
Hello? I love you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So good to hear your voice. Yeah, it's on the road now. I don't really got much to say. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. Thanks. I've been reading for class still. I don't know what good it's gonna do, but I'm doing it. You know, maybe when I get settled down. That's great. I don't know if I'm coming back. I know. <sighs> Sorry. I love you. I love you too.